What's up guys? So today we're going to be playing in some blue hair. Now this one comes courtesy of Divas Wigs. I already went ahead and got her started for you guys. You know I did this with the last few wigs I've shown you guys here on YouTube. So she's pretty much ready to go. Now I didn't tweeze her at all but I did bleach the knots and form the baby hair and like you know add my parting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put her on and we're going to style her. We're going to do some fun curls with her. Now I thought she was a bob but she's definitely a little longer than a bob. So we're going to see what she looks like. I might go ahead and cut her a little bit shorter into a bob because I'm kind of in the mood for a bob. I keep saying bob because bob bob bob. Now today I'm not going to add an elastic band. You guys know I normally love to add my elastic bands. You see these two combs here, I kind of add um, the elastic right here and right here. And when it comes around, it makes for the perfect tight wig um, that is glueless and you don't need to add any glue. Y'all, so I tried to do a voiceover for you, but I just be talking so much. I got to speed it up one time. So this is what the wig looks like on. As I told you before, I already bleached the knots and did the baby hair. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace I decided I'm not gonna trim or tweeze um, the hairline any on this one but if you feel like you would like to and you have this wig definitely do so I may do it a little bit um, you know in the future but just for today's sake I didn't feel like it needed it so I'm just gonna add a little bit of the free spray I kind of want to keep my application super neat especially because we're not gonna be having too much baby hair and I don't know if you guys can notice but whenever you add the um, free spray because it's wet it kind of makes the lace kind of blend in with your skin a little bit more i'm gonna go in with powder in a little bit and you'll see that in just a moment but you guys can see here um it definitely helped the lace to blend in with my color obviously the best way to do so is to tint the lace and i do have a tutorial on how i do that so i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of wax stick the wax stick is um a different method of kind of slicking your edges backwards i kind of feel like when i want to suit baby hair i'll use um, foam lotion or an edge control but when I want the um, hair in the front to go like backwards like towards the rest of the hair the wax kind of helps in combination with the hot comb to just look more flawless and melted and like it's coming out of your scalp now be careful with your product you guys can see there's a little bit of white there on the side it's definitely gonna bug me throughout this video you definitely have to look at your um, application in natural lighting to make sure that everything looks flawless but here I'm just taking the hot comb around my entire hairline and also um, around my parting and just making sure everything is super flat, slick, and laid. Now this hot comb is electric. It does not get as hot as like one from the stove, but it definitely helps in the process of, you know, melting your lace and having a flawless application. Also, as you guys seen with the sideburns, this wig definitely fits really nice. I didn't have to cut off too much excess lace, like literally the slightest. I didn't even include it in this video, but I did make baby hair. This hair was like going backwards, and I kind of used the heat from the high, from the hot comb. I'm sorry to retrain, retrain the hair to go downwards to kind of go, you know, in the direction I want it to. And then I'm going to trim down these faux sideburns to be pretty long today. Sometimes I like them to be like um, above the ear and sometimes I like them to be like right below the chin. I'm going to add my free spray and attempt to bond them down. Now you guys know the free, stay, the free spray, I'm so sorry I can't talk today, is just a temporary um, hold. Um, any bit of manipulation will make them come up but for, you know, a quick little, you know, look, a quick little fix it definitely will do the trick. Now I'm taking my babyless flat iron and I'm just going around and straightening out the hair. Because I did wash and condition the hair um, and let, allow it to air dry. It's a straight texture naturally but of course you got to go ahead and make it um, you know like silky and sleek. I took big pieces because I am going to bump the ends and add a little bit of curl. And in the process I definitely didn't need to like you know bone straight silk press. Here's a quick shot of what the hair looks like straight all the way around. Now finally I'm going to add that powder. I'm just using a foundation powder that matches my skin tone and just going around the hairline anywhere that I see um, the lace a little bit um, different than my skin tone I go in and add it. Again a better solution would be to tint the lace which again I do have a tutorial on how to do that. For this, for some reason this wig definitely did slide back so I should have um, used a better application for um, my got to be glue. I should have definitely just used the got to be glue spray and sprayed it down you know tied it down because I did find that it did slide back. 
I was super surprised because this is a petite um, wig cap, but you know, a little elastic band will do the trick. Also, the lace is medium brown and the length is 16 inches on this one. They gave you 4 inches of parting space and it definitely looks very natural. The density on this one I believe is 180% density. I kind of feel like if it were fuller it would be, you know, a little bit more va va voom. But because it is a vibrant color, I do feel like the toned down 180% density did really cute as well. I think I'll wear this one for a little while in the length that it came and then eventually I'll turn it into a bob. I just envisioned this color, this ombre color to be a beautiful bob so finally I added some um, curls I just bumped the ends very quickly you guys see these are just some messy ununiform curls in super big chunks I kind of just wanted to make curls you know like girl next door curls going towards my face at just the very end so when I comb it out at the end it's just gonna have a slight bump I also added my Sebastian Shapers to the very front and kind of just used the hot comb or the flat iron to kind of press that in and kind of give it some some height in the front just to kind of show off that hairline since we did not add baby hair and it still looks super nice. Again, don't forget to clean up with a little bit of alcohol and you're done. And that's pretty much it. I went ahead and added some curls to the end. This is a wig on the shorter side so I didn't want to do too tight of a curl so I kind of lose the length because I really wasn't going for a bob but if you really want to do like really 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 tight curls I would take a wand curler and just go really tight all over and I think that'd be cute for a super super different look also lifted it up in a little bit in the front so you can kind of again get some volume and see what's going on absolutely love the way this came out this definitely was an easy install again I'm going to try and change up my setup um, pretty soon just because the way I work now is just so like unorganized that it just takes a lot longer than necessary because I'm not just sitting in one spot um, you know like I should be but yeah let me know what you guys think of this one I love how it curls even with straight hair it curls very easily I added absolutely no product to the ends of the hair only to like here in the top and the front and you guys seen all that. Also don't forget to check out Diva's wigs. Um, a link to this wig is in the description bar as well as information on this hair. Um, this is their packaging and they did give me a free brush and then of course you have your information on here. This one is 16 inches. Um, for this color it takes five extra days. Um, five additional working days to do the custom color. Um, it's 180% density. The hairline was pre-plucked. The lace is medium brown and it is a four inches parting space going back. What you guys seen? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, all of that. And let me know what you guys think of this little. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one.